going on guys i'm in advantage and welcome back to another nhl 23 video in today's video we're diving into the deep dive game mode trailer for nhl 23 without any further ado let's get right on into it if you plan on buying nhl 23 then you might as well enter into my giveaway where you can win nhl 23 x factor edition for both you and a friend make sure you click the link down below Welcome to the NHL 23 Game Mode Steep Dive. Let's start by talking franchise mode and the all new custom leagues. We're gonna allow players to play with any number of teams, any number of games played, divisions, conferences, really customized leagues to the rosters that they wanted to create or share with others. You can select anywhere from six to 48 teams, as well as any number of divisions and conferences within the number of teams that you have. So if you want a 48 team, zero conferences and eight divisions setup, you can do that. The original six where they just play each other in the league, you can do that. So very cool here. You can do the original six. There's a lot more customization as far as the leagues and franchise mode go. So it's great to see obviously more customization, the better. You'll also have the ability to turn off what the minimum cap is. So if you're creating an era from the past, you can turn off the salary cap. But now you're also giving you the granularity of what's the max cap. Dynamic schedules will let you do anything from setting the number of round robin rounds that you want to play. You can even set the number of division games, conference games, interdivision games, interconference games, depending on your league setup. And you can set those from anywhere from 20 to 84. You can set wins from anywhere from one to four points. You can change the points for losses, or you can change the format in which the playoffs are played. You can also set whether or not the wild card standings format is enabled. And we also have a new thing called the wild card round, which allows you to have a play in round similar to the NHL bubble back in 2020. Depending on the number of rounds you've selected, you'll be able to change the number of games played in each of those rounds. We support one game, three games, five games, or seven games, as well as a two game aggregate. So if you want to play a seven game series where you play the first three games away and then the next four games at home, you can do that. I would love to see an actual playoff format like this. Selfishly speaking, there's a lot of things that us content creators, as well as you guys playing NHL 23, are going to be able to do in franchise mode this year. I do love all the added features, all the added customization. It's going to make for some great content, and it's going to make for a lot more intuitive and fun franchise mode. And if you want to play an alternating schedule, we allow you to do that as well. If you wanted to change the schedule for the AHL, you can do that. Everything you can do with the NHL schedule or playoff format or the league setup in general, you can do that. If a player this year creates a 48 team custom roster, you're able to go in and after downloading that roster sharing file, you'll go into custom leagues and then you can sub in all the teams that the player created if they're not NHL teams into franchise mode in custom leagues. And then you can recreate the league in whichever way you want to with those 48 teams. There's just so many cool things that our players did last year. We really wanted to give them the power to take the next step having fun in franchise mode. So from an outsider perspective, perspective I've, I've never, never really, really got, got much, much into franchise, franchise mode, but I'm not gonna lie, this, this makes me really want to do it. it. I'm more of a world of chill guy, so I'm interested, interested to see what they're, they're bringing to that, that game, game mode. mode. Our number one focus for World of Chell this year was the implementation of cross-platform matchmaking. When it arrives in November, PlayStation and Xbox players in the same console generation will be able to play against one another across all World of Chell online modes for the first time in franchise history. Is that the Nordiques logo? And now that our matchmaking pools are essentially doubled, you'll be spending less time in the queue and more time on the ice. I really believe I've spent more time in the queue than I have playing World of Child this year. The early prototype is promising, and we couldn't be more excited to implement this as well as continue to work on connecting our players as best as possible. It's worth mentioning that cross-platform matchmaking is also completely optional and can be toggled on or off by all players. You guys better keep on crossplay. Because of the expanded matchmaking pools, we've updated our servers to better allocate to where our players are based and added a new server aimed at helping players in the central part of North America. Okay, I'm in Central North America, so this is actually pretty nice that they're bringing some more servers to the table. One of the largest quality of life asks we get from our community is the ability to open hockey bags faster. I lied, I think I spent more time opening hockey bags than I had in the queue. It's probably pretty darn close. This year, we've added the ability to go quickly from one bag to the other, 
allowing you to open them at a much faster pace than ever before. We've also added a dedicated strategy screen where you can access our new and existing strategies to fine tune your team play. You'll also find a new wide range of customization options for your team and player. Based on your feedback last year, we've tuned the preset attributes on multiple classes to ensure balance. This includes increasing the starting attributes, giving you a higher starting overall to work with. We've also added additional loadout slots, giving you more flexibility and choice from game to game. So for all you EASHL guys out there like myself, it's really nice to see that there's some added features in here, particularly the biggest pain points that I had are hopefully going to be fixed by crossplay, which is the time to wait. The bag opening also is, is nice to have that and a much quicker format as well as more loadout slots and customization. So for me, I'm all here for it. And in addition to that, with what we've seen from the other trailers, some of the presentation things, the celebrations, the hat tricks, et cetera, I think it's gonna make World of Chell a lot of fun. We understand that having to come into NHL and set your team up for each and every game in online versus, that's not where the fun lies. And we want players to get into that next experience, that next game as quickly as possible. So this year, we're giving you the ability to save your lines and strategies for online versus. This also partners well with the new strategies that we have in the feature set for 23. And it was important to us that we get this in the game, get you into every match as quickly as possible, remove the work and let you have the fun that you've come to NHL for. So another quality of life feature, especially for those of you that play a lot of online versus, you're not gonna have to go and change your strategies before every game. I've done that quite a bit and it is very time consuming. They're exactly right. That is not fun at all to do. So it's nice you're able to save that. So hopefully, you know, we I thought it'd be a little bit more of a deep dive than what we were getting uh, surface level here, but some nice quality of life items that they've brought to the table. That's it for me on this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'm in advantage and I'll see you guys next time.